Hello everyone, welcome back to Scardia.com. Today, we are back with another video on the sensory system. In this video, we are going to discuss proprioceptors, cutaneous receptors, pain receptors, sense of taste, sense of smell, sense of vision, and sense of hearing. We will cover not only these topics, but I will also tell you some interesting facts. So, let's start our video. Well, do you know that? Pressing on your eyes can produce the sensation of lights flashing. But don't do it too hard, or too often. Or, it may cause retinal detachment. Moving forward, towards our topics. So, when a sensory receptor is stimulated, it generates nerve signals that travel to your brain. Interpretation of these signals is the function of the brain which has a special region for receiving information from each of the sense organs. Signals arriving at a particular sensory area of the brain can be interpreted in only one way. For example, those arriving at the olfactory area result in smell sensation. The words olfactory refer to the sense of smell. Likewise, signals arriving at the visual area result in sight sensation. Specialized sensory receptors throughout the body start signal transmission to the brain by using a system called a receptor potential. Receptor potentials begin with a stimulus. For example, a light stimulus for receptors in the eye. Unlike an action potential, which is an all-or-nothing event, receptor potentials can be weak or strong. Receptor potentials can add together as they do in a presynaptic neuron, synapses with a postsynaptic neuron. I know, what I said is difficult for you to understand. So we will study them one by one. Firstly, we will understand their structure, and we will understand their pathways that how signals are carried out. So, let's jump into the topic. Sensory receptors is an organ, having nerve endings in the skin or viscera or eye or ear or nose or mouth that respond to stimulation. Sensory receptors may be categorized into five types based on their stimuli. First is mechanoreceptors, such as pressure receptors in the skin, and proprioceptors, which are specialized stretch receptors in muscle. They are stimulated by changes in pressure or body movement. Other mechanoreceptors in the inner ear also detect body movements. Thermoreceptors in the skin and in the internal organs are stimulated by changes in the external or internal temperature. Pain receptors, such as those in the skin, are stimulated by damage or oxygen deprivation to the tissues. Chemoreceptors are stimulated by changes in the chemical concentration of substances. Taste buds in the tongue and olfactory receptors in the nose are chemoreceptors. Other chemoreceptors can sense the concentration of oxygen, carbon dioxide, and hydrogen ions in the blood. Photoreceptors, which are located only in the eye, are stimulated by light energy. You can memorize them using a mnemonic. My, tired, puppy, is cute and playful. Moving forward, sensory receptors in the muscles, joints, tendons, some internal organs and skin, send action potentials to the spinal cord. From there, the action potentials travel up the spinal cord in tracks to the thalamus which is the sensory relay center of the brain. The information from these receptors is then relayed to the somatosensory areas of the cerebral cortex, located in the parietal lobe of the brain. These general sensory receptors can be categorized into three types, proprioceptors, pain receptors, and cutaneous receptor. These receptors will be discussed in detail later in this video. So this was all about this section. In our next section, we will talk about the proprioceptors. 
Explore our extensive library of over 1,800 video lectures to learn about a wide range of topics. Only on Scotia.com.